Stress is the body's reaction to any change that requires an adjustment or response. Everyone, even children, experience stress. However, we don't all respond to or cope with stress in the same ways. Hi, I'm Josie Rudolphy, an Extension Specialist with the University of Illinois. In today's Moment for Mental Health, I'm going to describe healthy ways or coping strategies you can implement in your daily life to alleviate stress. Think of a time when you were feeling really stressed. What did you do to relax or decompress? Coping usually involves adjusting to or tolerating negative events or realities while also attempting to maintain your positive self-image and emotional equilibrium. There are healthy and unhealthy ways to cope with stress. Today, I'm gonna to recommend four science-backed methods to alleviate stress in a healthy manner. The acronym is HERD, which stands for Hobbies, Exercise, Relaxation, and Diversion. H is for Hobbies. Hobbies bring a sense of fun and freedom to life and can help minimize the impact of chronic stress. For example, those who feel overwhelmed at work can benefit from hobbies because they provide an outlet for stress and something to look forward to after a hard day or week at a stressful job. Examples of hobbies include restoring farm equipment, gardening, or woodworking. E is for exercise. Virtually any form of exercise, from jogging to aerobics to yoga, can act as a stress reliever. The mental and physical health benefits of exercise are undeniable. Increasing your heart rate above resting for as little as 20 minutes can improve your mood. Walking is often described as meditation in motion, an opportunity to reflect, think, or simply zone out. As a reminder, please practice safety when exercising alone or at night, and consult your doctor before starting a rigorous exercise program. R is for relaxation. Many of us assume relaxation is flopping down in front of the couch. But to reduce stress, relaxation techniques should focus on slowing your breathing and your heart rate, lowering your blood pressure, and bringing your body and mind into balance. There are a number of smartphone applications and books that can guide individuals through relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or meditation. Finally, D is for diversions. Diversion is really just another word for distraction. Diversions are useful because they distract your brain from imposing stress. Sometimes you just need to step away and focus on something else. Examples of diversions include watching TV, scrolling social media, switching tasks at your job, or calling a friend or family member to talk about anything besides what might be stressing you out. Today we discussed four coping strategies to help alleviate the effect of stress. The next time you experience stress, I encourage you to implement one of the healthy coping mechanisms we discussed today. And we hope you join Illinois Extension again soon for another moment for mental health.